All right, I'm going to tie a bowline around these halyards, and I'm going to do it a little differently than what I was showing you, just tying a bowline in your hand. Bringing the line around, I have the bitter end on top, and I've made, you should recognize that knot again, it's an overhand knot. I'm going to pull on the bitter end, leaving the standing part a little bit loose so it will form into a bite all by itself. Now, if you remember tying it in your hand, you have the bitter end coming up through the bite, so it's already there when you do it that way. Now you just go behind and back down, pulling it tight, and there you have a bowl and tied to something, which is very, very important. You have to remember though, why you're tying the line, what knot you're using, and would this one be a good one to keep these halyards together? Well, no. But it does slip up and down nicely. So if you had to put it on a piling, you could do that or drop it on a cleat as maybe you're coming into the dock. Um, so there's many different uh, good reasons for a bowling. Uh, Bolin is also used when we talk about, now I work on traditional ships for many, many, many years, and I'm used to a block and tackle that uh, uses a bowline um, unless you happen to have a symbol to, uh, to attach to the block. But it can be done with a bowline and uh, it'll hold tight. So um, there are many uses. Now, remember I was talking about loosening the bowline. In this case, I can push on the bite here, or I can just push it and loosen it up a little bit, bring the bitter end back through, and there we go.